Tap Out Episode 4. We're going to see Matt Hughes. We're going to see other legends of the fight game. Let's get into it. We're leaving. Skyscrape, man. Oh, he does all the hard work. You know, he has to drink soda. <laughs> he has to hit the hammer on the table a little bit. So, I mean, he, he's really taking on a lot of the brunt of the work, if you will. Wait, why are we in Las Vegas? What are we doing at, at Layman's? We're... <laughs> Screaming for no reason. I lived out in Vegas for a while. I trained at Vandalay Silva's gym and I trained at Johnny Taco's boxing gym. And I trained at Robert Drysdale's. Mark Layman! What's up, Mark? And there was a young fighter there. He wanted me to check out Billy Ho. Billy Ho! Let me get a ho, ho, ho! Never heard of him, but still got some good bicep genetics. You can just tell he's just a, a natural. He's good. You can see the way he moves, and you can tell he's going to be a good fighter. I haven't seen him fight, but watching him train, he looked good. Hey, Billy, how old? Billy, are you 19? 19? Come to find out, he's 19. And he's a baby. They will blow right through you, put you on your knees, and that's the bottom line. I'm trying to round to the end of my time. If I rewind my life story, you wouldn't ignore me. Tiesco, Tiesco, I don't remember this uh, this gym. Tiesco. Look how young he is. Look how young Dwayne Bang Ludwig is right here. Look at that, you're seeing some pretty good combinations. Is that who I think it is? Oh, that's definitely Cowboy Cerrone if I'm not bugging out. Maybe I'm bugging. Shorts. Donald, just Look at Donald Cowboy Cerrone, bro. Crazy young. He's 22 in Muay Thai with 18 knockouts. And he's 6 0 6 0 in MMA, all by submission. Damn, see, he was winning by submission in MMA at the very beginning. You know, and you gotta have an eye for the future contenders, just like you guys have to have an eye for the future of YouTube. And that's why you can leave a like. Bang, 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 bang. Now, is that my best segue I've ever done? Probably not, a little patchy, but still, it was engrossed in the storytelling aspect, and I think you guys can appreciate that. Subscribe and turn on post notifications because I need you actually to do that. And also, this is the thing about notifications, really quick. You turn them on, you gotta use them. Meaning when you see the tab pop down that says Steven posted, you gotta click it. That's the whole point of it. That's the whole point of it. Everybody's been, uh, Dwayne has some good things to say about you. Yeah. You fighting at 155? Yeah, 155. Yeah, you look like a yeah. good, Talk yeah, good 155er. <laughs> Finn puts on a fight called Ring of Fire in Denver, Colorado. So as soon as we finish with Matt Hughes, we're going to head back there. Here, if we weren't rolling through here and stopped by at uh, Ludwig's, we wouldn't have seen that Elliot Cat and that Christian. Cowboy, yeah. that's that. Yo, stop sleeping on Cowboy. Spoiler alert, he's going to go the furthest. Got to make a decision who Tap Out's going to sponsor. And, and I want to go with Cowboy. You know what I mean? He, he's great. Yes, Cowboy! I didn't know you guys were gonna call me. Why is this camera here in the middle of the woods with me? I am very honored that the Tapple guys came, you know, came into the gym to see Dwayne and, and, and picked me up, you know, and just right place at the right time. No injuries? Man, sounds like a completely different person. Are you feeling pretty good or what? No injuries, man, I'm ready to go. Oh, shit, you're on top of it, good, dog. Bro. Yeah, yeah, boy. See you tomorrow. I uh, started a Muay Thai career and went uh, undefeated as an amateur and then undefeated as a pro as well. And uh, then my manager came to me and asked me to do an MMA. And uh, Dwayne and I both decided it'd be a good idea. This will be my sixth MMA fight. I don't think uh, Bang gets enough credit for really bringing Donald to the forefront because you don't make that connection. When you think about Donald Cerrone, you don't think about Dwayne Bang Ludwig. You think of Greg Jackson. Dwayne Bang was the one that was really helping him hone his skills. Now we got our boy Cowboy. That's set. He's in motion. He's ready to go. Time to swing to Matt Hughes. See what he's got. And then we'll swing back to Colorado for the Ring of Fire. Man, imagine these guys doing this show in 2022 with the gas prices the way they are now. Forget it. Matt Hughes goes back as far with me as 1998. I mean, 98, they go back. Matt Hughes, if you guys don't know, is a legendary UFC welterweight champion. One of the first, if not the first. Uh, the first may be Pat Militich, but Matt Hughes is a legend. Some of the craziest fights. He was known for picking his opponents up and slamming them through the mat. Yeah, there's a big mud pit down. Okay, so if you guys know, uh, there's a phenomenal musician called Buckethead. This is definitely influenced by Buckethead, but there's a lot of extra going on. The glasses are matching with the, the scarf situation, a lot going on. What? 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 
Me and Matt Hughes have a little bit of history in this uh, kind of uh, he jumps me when I'm not looking, I jump him when he's not looking. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no. It's about to go down. That's just the way he came up. Like, <laughs> he tried to arm drag him. He tried to arm drag him. Punk ass with a smooth arm drag, but you're not going to arm drag a prime Matt Hughes. Oh, no. <laughs> That's too strong. Oh, hard body shot to the liver. <laughs> Oh, throwing kicks. Not a little unnecessary. Horrible technique. <laughs> oh, Matt's going to get pissed. He's like, are you trying to attack the head now? He's, just let me get my shoe back. I, I'm not tugging. You can't. <laughs> 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 oh, that was right in the body. I just became a, a an overnight wimp. Turned on us today. <laughs> Knocked everything out of me. Oh. Cowboy. Yeah. What's up, man? How you feeling? Wait a second. You got staph infection and you got over it already? That fast? And you're gonna fight? Oh. Get some rest, bro. All right, man. Staff, if it goes untreated, if you guys don't know, we'll kill you. That's how serious staff is. He ain't been training for two days. Really? That ain't good. But he's young, so he'll probably pull through. Big bang, big bang. Not the biggest personality bang. I expected him to be a little bit more bigger character, but, you know. I asked Cowboy how's he feel. He said he's a thousand percent. That's all I need to hear. That's all I want to know. It's called Cowboy. Tell me I'm ready. So we found out that uh, Cowboy needs a ride to weigh in, so we're gonna have to go get him, and um, whew, hopefully we're on time. Everything's good. A little bit of staff ain't gonna hold us down. Cowboy seems to think he's over his staff infection, but um, that's a pretty serious outbreak. They should not be letting you fight with staff infection. This fight, I'm stepping up a weight class, not because I have to, but because the opponent that I have can't make the weight, so we're gonna step up and take his weight. You know, I fight 55, but he's a 170 pounder, you know, cutting down to meet me. So I've been trying to put on some weight and meet him halfway. 160.2, Anthony Njukwane. I remember this dude, he's a very talented stand-up guy. 159 and a half, the Cowboy, Donald Cerrone. Both fighters are undefeated at this time. Look at all the staff I got. I got uh, staff infection in my leg and on my arms. But come fight time, I'll be 100% for sure. I'm just gonna do my physical right now. But is this spreadable? If it's if it's visible, is it is it like is isn't it? A, can't you spread it? Is my question. Take my hand. Shake my other hand. Are you allergic to any medicine? No. All right, good luck, then. Huh? Thanks, sir. So I'm gonna go help Nate with Cody. Oh, so he was working with Greg Jackson. Okay, it's a lot of shit going on here. Yo, always with the cup over the jeans. Constantly, that's his thing. Ooh, that's a regret, right? That's a bad regret, right? Cover that up. Uh, anything but that. Yeah, that's a guy who would get it on his leg, too. What do you mean, Steve? In what way? By his appearance? By All I'm saying is that's the guy that would get that tattoo. Never wear out, man. I get excited, and then I'm like, why do I fight? You know, I hate this. I hate every minute of it. That's fire, brother. And that fire. I love that openness. A few fighters that I've I've known share that openly, and, and it, it's a true feeling. I've said this in previous videos. It's not what it looks like on TV. But then when they raise your hand, and the whole place goes crazy. That's why you do it. It's an addiction like anything else fighting. It's like uh, playing cards or anything that you're addicted to. That's all it is. It's just a much more complex addiction. Incredible promotion. The the lighting, the, the ramp, everything they did. They, they really invested into the promotion. Great stuff. Shout out to Sven Bean. All right, Cowboy, a young Cowboy Cerrone making his way to the ring here. Typically takes Cowboy a while to warm up and get his rhythm. So I think Andrew Kwani should probably take advantage of that and start off strong. That guy's quick, bro. Your hands up! Hard puncher. Oh, good low kick by Andrew Kwani. They're essentially gonna have, oh, wobbles, Cowboy. Can't fight backing up. Move forward. He's waiting to throw out of his kicks. He's gonna throw out of him. Ooh, beautiful. Cowboy getting at him. Getting at him. Focus in, Donald. Let's go. Focus 
The issue with uh, this style of fighting, in my humble opinion, is uh, there's just never any head movement off the off the center axis. It's just, it's very plotting, and if you can freeze a guy, his head's there to be hit, and th those sorts of things backfire. I mean, the head's there in the same position it was before and after the combination. So counters are there. There we go, see? He just has to go forward in Jaquani. And Cowboy, Cowboy has to do the same thing. It's going forward, but then making sure that there's a subtle movement at the end, whether it's a step to the side, subtle shift with head positioning, which he doesn't do, but there has to be some sort of diversion after the initial combination. Otherwise, he'll be there to be countered. He's there to be countered, I should say. Just going forward, not moving his head. I mean, I'm sure he'll win this, but... Nice job, Andrew Kwani. Catching the leg, landing the right hand. Nothing crazy there. And now we have on bottom, if you can see here, we have Cowboy looking for what we call deep half guard. Never really liked this position in MMA. Andrew Kwani having none of it. Breaking, standing up, and going back to the striking range. Countering, going backwards. Go forward, Donald. No kicks. No kicks, Donald. No kicks, Donald. Donald. There we go. Use your hands, Donald. Good low kick by Andrew Kwani. So what can we teach the younger guys watching this? You see how he's walking in and there's no action? A lack of fainting, a lack of movement. I say this a lot in the videos. You know, a little bit of a faint will get a reaction. It'll start to create reads. So you can start to compute uh, his tendencies and behavioral patterns. And then you can exploit those patterns. Uh, need to faint though, right? See, see this? That was a faint, that was good. And he opened up to the liver, a little risky to lead to the body like that on your lead side. But it, uh, it it paid off there. Beautiful counters. Oh, gets thrown down again. Getting that high kick caught, getting off balance, but starting to get into a rhythm at least. Andrew Kwani really slowing down a little too much. He's giving way too much real estate up to Donald. All right, catches the kick, scores the takedown. Finishes the takedown by peeling the wrist and throwing the underhook by, right? That gets your opponent's head going over his lead foot. As you may know, but you probably don't if you're new to the channel, I cover a lot of this kind of stuff on my Patreon. We're doing a bunch of stuff on there, a variety of different forms of content. If you wanna check that out, tier two and up is gonna give you exclusive content. Tier one will give you early access to all the videos that you see here on YouTube. Beautiful back take. I mean, just real amateur level jujitsu by Andrew Kawani at this stage of his career. And he's essentially giving up his uh, the strangle. He's looking to get that strangle hand across and, and past the shoulder line. Uh, he's going to lose top position. No, good job hip heisting. Looking to land hard strikes from the top position. Cowboy getting to work. He's going for, he said, no, no, not the armbar, punk ass. He's going to get it, though. Oh, my God, just step over the head, Andrew Kwani. There you go. Posture. Posture, posture, man. Ah, oh, no, he lifted instead of postured. So the thing is, when you lift, you're not doing anything in terms of creating extension of the legs, right? Because he can essentially follow you up. But when you put pressure on the lower half and you posture, you create an elongating of the wedge. The closed wedge starts to open up. So that's what you want to do, typically. Good job by Cowboy Cerrone getting the W, tap out fighter, a young, 6-0 now at this stage of his career, performing probably on the biggest stage he ever had up until this point. I think it was definitely a good move on our part to get behind Cowboy. He showed us what he's made of, and I think he he can definitely go far in the whole MMA game. Good investment. So sometimes you invest in fighters, they don't completely turn out to where maybe you would have projected, but Cowboy was one of those good horses. You put the money on that horse, he was gonna go far. Another phenomenal episode of Tap Out. We love to see it. We got to see Matt Hughes and Cowboy Cerrone back in the day. Feel free to check me out on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to watch any other episodes of Tap Out or any of the other shows that I cover, click one of the playlists. They're about to pop up now.